Well, training camp has officially begun for the Philadelphia Eagles. Football is officially back. Um, The Eagles have signed another wide receiver that a lot of Eagles fans are going to be familiar with. And Hassan Reddick is really not playing around. Well, we can take a deep breath because training camp is here. The media will be here this week. We're going to find out a lot of things. Obviously, the Eagles aren't in full pads, but just glad football is back. Not officially in the regular season yet, but um, to see this competition unfold is going to be a very exciting thing going forward. Okay, the second thing I definitely want to go over here is... The Eagles have signed another wide receiver. A familiar face is coming back to Philadelphia, and that is Deion Kane. Probably one of the most under-the-radar players we've seen last year, last offseason, where he was 18 for 106 in that Browns game. Okay, since the Eagles already made the trade for A.J. Brown, already had Devontae Smith, had Quez Watkins. Now, obviously, uh, you know, they had uh, Zach Paschal last year. That obviously was a big part of, you know, Nick's offense with the Colts when he was the offensive coordinator over there. So, um, you know, was a big part of our offense last year, too. You know, did a lot of the dirty work, the blocking, and and when he, and had his, you know, chances when he had during the season to, you know, make some catches, which was great. Now going into this year, uh, Deion Kane, interesting enough, I mean, has had some big success off the field, okay? Like I said, big under-the-radar player for the Eagles, had a really good preseason game last year, just dominated last year, offseason, got cut. Now he did go to the USFL, to the Birmingham Stallions, where he became the MVP wide receiver of the USFL championship game. Um, so had a lot of success there. And and I think maybe has become a better player coming to the Philadelphia Eagles. You know, sometimes you go somewhere else to another league, you play a lot better, maybe has become a better player and to see what he could do. Uh, you know what I mean? So obviously he was a four, you know, he was a six round pick, um, you know, that's it, really trying to find his home. You know what I mean? And like I said, when you get success, success somewhere else and come back to, you know, the NFL and try out for a team and what better team to try out for is for the Philadelphia Eagles, a team that, you know, a lot of players that you do know, and Deion King definitely knows this coaching staff and all the, those great things. So it's really nice to have him back, but I try to figure out, where does he fit within these wide receivers? Okay, is he trying out for the fourth to fifth spot? Because when you really think about it, you have A.J. Brown, you have Devontae Smith, you have Quez Watkins, you have Zacchaeus. You know what I mean? You have all these other wide receivers and Joseph Nagata that they paid a lot of money as an undrafted free agent, Jaden Hazelwood. You know what I mean? Uh, you have that that Peyton. You have J- uh, Jatavis Peyton, whatever his name is, um, you know, that's been jumping to a few teams. You know, you have some undrafted guys. So the most experience as of right now, you're getting a guy with a lot of experience. Now, he doesn't have a lot of NFL. You know, he's never played in NFL. So I don't think he's played an NFL snap. I could be wrong, but I don't think he has because um, he's been cut in the off seasons pretty much much but in the usfl level yes he's been one of the top rod receivers of that league which the league has only been around for what a season two seasons whatever it is as of right now uh but very you know i was very big on Deion kane last offseason but we just had so many wide receivers and signing zach pascal probably solidified the deal of where these receivers were going and on top of britain covey for special teams and all that stuff so now that zach pascal isn't here maybe zacchaeus doesn't have a great camp and they release him you know you never know Maybe Deion Kane walks in the camp, joint practices in preseason, and really turns it up. Um, this could be a chance where he actually makes the roster. So um, I'm not complaining about it. I'm very happy, um, and I am definitely rooting for this guy. This guy is just trying to find his home, trying to find a spot. And like I said, we have a lot of fam- familiarity with him um, and the success he had with the Eagles last off season. So. You know, definitely something to definitely watch. And uh, now with only one roster spot available, I think. One roster spot now. Um, And and what's that going to open up to? A move or something like that? Like, it doesn't really matter how many open roster spots we have. Like, if the Eagles make a move, they make a move and they just release a player. You know what I mean? So it doesn't mean just because there's a a move. You know, if they have no roster spots, if they sign one more guy, it doesn't mean they can't make any more moves. They obviously have to release somebody uh, because you have to, you know, obviously with 90 players and having to, in August, 
Mets now cut this roster down from 90 to 53 in one day, which is kind of nuts. But the Eagles have, and I understand for train. I understand for training camp that a lot of positions have a lot of players to compete. I understand that, but the Eagles have a I brought in a lot of receivers, not only receivers that used to play here, but receivers that have played with Jalen Hurts in the past. Whether it was obviously last year at, at uh, last year's off season, or it was just in college, um, you know, between Oklahoma, Alabama, you know, stuff like that. So getting players that he he has used to, you know, that Hurts is that used to play with was is interesting. So a lot of receivers to get to competed. Deion Kane has a lot of experience now and see how much better he did get from being into the uh, in the USFL from last year. So um, I'm rooting for him. So can't wait for that. Uh, second, uh, I don't know if you guys saw the Hassan, Hassan Reddick. I just when he's off the field and he's just talking, I, I love it. I mean, I love when he's just pissed off. And I think when we get a, a pissed off Hassan Reddick, we get a better Hassan Reddick. And Hassan Reddick came out with this video the other day, and it was just so it was just so great. Um, just talking about, you know, oh, it's not all about sacks. Look what I could do against the run. You know, guys don't run to my side. Like, he cursed a lot in this video, so I'm not trying to quote-unquote it. But, um <laughs> Reddick is is I mean Reddick made the top 100 list I think for this year so I mean I'm not a big fan of the top 100 list because it's a it's a beauty contest uh it's a popularity contest pretty much between players and I just think it's just so I just think it's ridiculous sometimes with these top 100 lists but Reddick has become one of our best signings I, I think the best signing we've had um free agent wise coming on you know i mean three 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 different teams double digit sacks and uh, there's a lot of people out there that call this guy overrated and it's ridiculous um i think he's what the third or fourth best player to do that with three different teams a lot of players can't do double digit sacks i mean 16 i mean that's i mean you know how much more he could have done i mean you know how much more he could have done last year if he wasn't in coverage as much now since nolan smith is here now i'm not trying to keep him as I'm not trying to put him in pass coverage I want him to lurk all over the place around that line I don't care where he lines up on the edge okay I want him to be all over the place for the Philadelphia Eagles as a pure 100% edge rusher this year that's all I really want I don't really want even want him in pass coverage I don't because of all the times we wasted remember when Jonathan Gannon last year like at the you know later in the year said oh I think I made the mistake of putting him too much in coverage of how many sacks he actually could have had with the Eagles last year he could have had Man, he could have had I could I swear he could have had almost 30 sacks last. I'm not even kidding. I mean, he tied for Miles Garrett with second most in sacks I think last year, but and he cracked the 100 list at he cracked the 100 list, not cracked, but he was in there at what, 62, 64, something like that. Um and then at the end of this like little hype video, he says I'm done talking and he just walks away. You know, I, I, he's just, he, he's just, I mean, you know, that's, you know, Cannon, New Jersey, man. I mean, he's, yeah, he played for the, he played for Temple. He, I mean, he always wanted to play for this team. He was the pick right behind, right before Derek Barnett in 2017. It's one of my favorite players on this team. There's no doubt. I think a lot of people forget about Hassan Reddick sometimes. And because we had like three or four guys that had double digit sacks last year, and I feel like it's going to happen again. And I honestly feel like, they could break that sack record again this year over 70 sacks. I feel like it is a possibility, but if not, I'm not worried about it because I feel like this defense is going to be almost the same as Gannon's, but it's going to be a little bit different. And obviously a, a defensive coordinator that actually knows how to get pressure on quarterbacks and knows how to use it and uh, is a Vic Fangio apprentice and all that. So, um, you know, and has probably the best talent that Sean Desai has ever had on, on a, you know, on a defensive roster, you know, because Howie Roseman has put uh, this great roster. I mean, we're so lucky to have Hassan Reddick because honestly, Honestly, you know, who's the player that Nolan Smith is compared to? Hassan Reddick. Obviously, Nolan Smith is a big believer in, in, in uh, you know, uh, Von Miller is a big follower of Von Miller. But as what who he, he's playing with, he's playing with a player on this roster right now that he is compared to. And, you know, that that is awesome to learn from these guys, especially Hassan Reddick and what he could do. I mean, I, I'm, I want him on the edge. I want him to make quarterbacks nervous. And that's all I want. And um, another guy that's just relentless with with his work ethic and his, I mean, guys, we're so lucky to have him because he, he came to the Eagles as a free agent and could have got paid so much more money. He came to Philly just because I just want to play in Philadelphia. That I, the numbers were the numbers like, look, I'll get paid. I'll take a discount. I want to play. He took a he took a he took a discount at the end of the day where he could have got paid a lot more money to, for another team. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. So 
Reddick is just... <laughs> I love his attitude. I just love it. Because I don't see enough of it. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you see him during the season, the interviews and stuff like that. But when you see him, like, off the field and just how he is and just, you know, he's, he's, he's angry, man. He's, he's ready to go. And he is, he is just fucking pissed off. And I just, I love it. You know, maybe he thought that maybe being at, you know, at 62, 64 on the top 100, maybe he thought that he didn't get enough respect. You know, maybe he didn't get enough respect during the year. You know what I mean? That, you know, a lot of people think that, oh, because he's around a lot of good players, he had another, you know, he just has a great season because he's around other players that are good as well. But to be honest with you, like I said, the one, th the one thing that sticks out is him being, you know, has ha is having double digit sacks on three different teams. That's, that's not something you could do easily you know even even yanked and gawkway that averages seven to nine sacks a year you know going to three or four different teams it's still not easy even if it's not double digit sacks and you're averaging that much it's pretty good and with new players around you new coaching staff new scheme maybe the same scheme just depending on the team um you know new background just it, it's not easy to do that and hassan reddick is like what the like i said the third or fourth best uh the third or fourth player to do that in history in the nfl and to be a part of that with the philadelphia eagles and what he did last year could have done and and was underutilized in so many games last year and could have done so much more not because of hassan Reddick, because of our nitwit stupid defensive coordinator last year so that's where i got to take everything into account but not only that this video came up on ig as well and guess who liked this video buda baker liked this video I'm not going to get excited about it, but I'm Buda Baker might as well want to play for Philadelphia for this defense because I think he just wants to be here. I think the Eagles need to make a move for him. I, I really do. As much as I don't think safety is the biggest need right now because I think I feel like linebacker is still a need right now. I think linebacker is the biggest need on our defense regardless, and I kind of want to see Sidney Brown and you know see what he does at safety and see if he can make some noise into camp at joint practices. And, you know, like I said, Terrell Evans is a nice stopgap. Is it enough? Um, you know, and Reed Blanket, uh, you know, Blankenship is, you know, is coming off a nice sample size year as coming into this offseason as a projected starter in some cases. Um, but you know, to see Buda Baker like another eagle, I mean, just Buda Baker, he just wants to play here. Just 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 trade for him. Let the guy play here. He wants to play here badly. Okay, so <laughs> that's that's all I gotta say about that. But I was I was really happy about this this video. I watched the whole I watched it a few times because I just I mean Reddick is just oh man I I, mean, I want to get his jersey man he's 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 here for two more years so I mean he's only here for two more years uh this year and next year and excited about how you know how they use him and I hope it's just a pure edge rusher I just want him to hover on the line of scrimmage and just be a hunter on the edge that's 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 really all I want that's all I'm really asking for because I feel like we can get so much more out of Hassan Reddick and man, the rest of this defensive line is just going to be absolutely crazy. So Eagles training camp is officially here, guys. We signed Deion Kane. Let me know what you guys think about that move. Training camp starting. And what are you excited for going into training camp? I mean, we're going to have a ton of news tomorrow. We'll be going over all the news for the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't care if the video is 20 to 30 minutes. It's going to be long because that's just how it is uh, with the videos uh, going into these training camps. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys on the next one. Shakes what up, Fox? So I peace out, guys. Peace.